What's up, everybody? I wanted to dabble into a very unique topic today that I actually got a lot of uh, messages from my last live video, but I wanted to make this video not live. The reason being is because I really wanted to focus and I really wanted you to zero in on the message because I can get caught up with saying hello to everybody and I can get caught up with the comments. So let's go ahead and dive in. And I know a lot of us talk about it, we hear about the law of attraction, but it's so real. And from my personal experience with finding myself, you know, when people say it, like they have to go away to find themselves, like that's real. Like that's straight up real life. And so in order for the law of attraction to work, there are some laws that are involved with that. Okay, so it's, it's just, it's, for me, uh, my opinion is it's discipline. You have to discipline yourself to rewire the words that are coming out of your mouth, the information that's coming in from ear to ear, what you're listening to, like as far as music or what's on TV or, you know, um, who's around you, who's talking to you. Like, for example, if you listen to the news, it's all negative. It's all scary. It's causing your brain to... Think of fear. You fear going outside now. You fear to go to a concert. You fear for your children to go to school. Like you fear so much stuff because you're watching the news, which is all negative. That's why I don't watch it. Now, if you're a person that maybe you like to listen to the word of the day, maybe you're a person that li listens to, I don't know, like Joyce Meyer and John Gray and T.D. Jakes, or maybe you're a person that likes to listen to like Gary V and, you know, E.T. and all those people. So I could go on a whole list. But the thing about it is, as soon as you wake up, start rewiring and reprogramming your brain so that the law of attraction can really work for you. Like, if you see this mirror back here, or over here, <laughs> I'm the opposite way, my mirror right here, there's words on that mirror. Those are affirmations that I say every day that I look into the mirror, you know, on my other mirror, in my bathroom mirror. Like, this is real life. Like, you have to literally retrain your thoughts. Um... A lot of people are out here and, you know, they're like, I'm going to be alone forever. I'm not going to get a man or a woman or I'm always going to be, you know, the B word, like, like, you know, B R O K. Like, I'm always just, they're so negative and they're just pessimistic about everything. And, you know, people are, are basing their now off of old values or old stories or old things that happen and they're bringing that into the new. So if you keep dwelling on like past stuff, that's already in the past. Like everything right now, you've already manifested it. Like just live in it, just accept it. Just like be like, man, okay, so the next words that are coming out of your mouth, watch your tongue because seriously, like what you say can become your next seed that was planted. Whatever you say today is your seed that you plant tomorrow. You got to remember that. You got to talk about what you do want and what you do like. Stop saying things, like stop speaking things that you don't want or things that you don't like because you're going to continue to receive those things that you don't like or you don't want. It's that simple. It's that simple in that sense. But the whole part about it is, is that you have to focus and discipline yourself to want to change. Like you have to do it. It's easier said than done because you literally every single day, I started going from sticky notes to writing it on a notebook every day and reading it to now I memorize, like I program myself so well that I have like a routine down. Like I'm not talking to anybody. I'm not picking up my phone. I'm going to do me first, give myself some self-love, you know, motivate, dedicate, <laughs> and just literally revive, like go back, like tell myself I am a leader, I am great, I'm a seven-figure earner, you know, my words matter, like you got to like say those things, whatever it may be, like tell yourself that even though you currently may not see it visually right now in your present moment. And that's the thing, you got to think in images. We all think in images. Visualize where you feel that you should be right now, where you want to be. 
Like, even though you may not have seven figures in the bank, you have to say, I am a seven figure earner. Like, your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's not. So you're basing life off 90% of what you're doing is based off of that. Like, what you're telling yourself. So you got to know that God is like a separate energy, right? And you are your own energy. We all have a choice to be happy. It's a choice to be upset and sad and mad. Why would you want to be those things? It just ends up being a domino effect of more negative things. I dare you to test yourself. So here's a task. What I want you to do is start thinking positive thoughts. When someone you notice says something that irks you or triggers you, try and just retrain your brain to say, oh, you know, say something happy to yourself. That way you're not going to stoop to their level. Stay at the high vibration that you want to be at. Like, continue that. Like, notice the abundance all around you. It's all around you. Things are working in your favor at every moment when you completely choose to be happy. It's a choice. It is a choice. And so just know that, like, you're worthy. You are worthy. You're beautiful. You're a leader. You know, just, just say... The things that you need to hear that you don't hear enough. And say that I am. Okay. So hopefully that works out for you. Um, and that's all I really wanted to say. I mean it really makes the world of a difference. Notice when you're having a bad day. Are you lingering on? Are you, are you having that conversation later? Are you getting on the phone talking to your girlfriends? Are you telling your husband or your wife about your horrible day? Are you... You just Are you still rolling that negative ball of energy and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and then everything else around you is just not working out? But if you are positive, you know, for your whole day, just notice, like, every time you appreciate the small things, oh, my God, I found a quarter, oh, my God, I got a, you know, somebody gave me a gift, or oh, my God, they thought about me, or, or they sent me a nice message today, or somebody gave me some information I didn't even ask for, you know? Just be positive, like, Love yourself and just be positive in the now. Do not let today dictate your future. Okay? So hopefully you guys got a lot of value out of this video. Please go ahead and drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. Go ahead and like this video. Share it out. Maybe somebody needs to hear this today. And that's all. And that's love. Letitia.